This is Twit. Let's start with a, a Windows tip from Paul Theron. <clears throat> yeah, so um, I mentioned earlier in the show that uh, Microsoft had changed the guidelines for hardware makers when they were making Windows phone devices. And one of the changes they made was that instead of having those hardware buttons on the front of the phone, they could have uh, software-based buttons, what Microsoft calls soft keys for some reason. They're actually like software-based buttons. Not to be confused with capacitive buttons, which are also allowed, right? They don't have to be physical, mechanical buttons. So instead of having... Yeah, I have these capacitive buttons, buttons on, strip, on the Nokia, yeah. Right, so imagine that though that was just an empty space. Right. And you had a software strip above it, and that's, you know, like how Android works. Right. Um, interestingly, I mean, so far at least, we've only seen three phone models that have been released that have this, um, uh, from Nokia anyway. The Lumia 630, the 635, and now the 530 all have this, I almost called it capacitive, this software-based, you know, button strip navigation bar in the front. So in using this system on the Lumia 635, I discovered that this solves one of the biggest problems with Windows Phone, which Mary Jo will appreciate. Mary Jo, when, you hand, when you're looking at your phone and you find a great photo or something that you want to show to someone else, and you hand it to someone else so they can see it, what always happens? The photo goes away. They hit the home <laughs> button, yeah. Yep. Well, they hit the, the search button in this case. And so... Yep. Everyone who uses Windows phones know, uh, knows that when you do that, the person who you hand the phone to says, why did you want to show me the Bing page? <laughs> and, or you hit it by yourself by mistake. Yeah. Um, some people who have looked at pictures of this phone have said, wow, why, why is the bezel so big at the bottom? You know what? Let the bezel be big. This actually yeah. solves that problem. By putting that stuff on the screen, you say this that like basically Moses. never happens. Let the bezel be big. <laughs> yes, they may all have bezels. <laughs> <laughs> Let them eat beer or whatever. So this, uh, right now, there is no uh, high-end Windows phone with this. And depending on what carrier you're on, there is no phone uh, that has it yet. But I wouldn't be surprised if we see this more and more, especially with all of those new phone makers that have come board on Windows phone this year. And so with somewhere between 12 and 15 companies making Windows phones of all kinds up and down the spectrum, I think what we're going to see are phones that use these soft keys because a lot of these companies will want to reuse the, the hardware designs that they already have for Android phones or just, you know, swap them back and forth going forward. Um, I would say, go you know, again, you don't have a lot of choices now, but down the road when it comes time to upgrade Windows Phone and you want to get a new device, uh, look at these uh, models because I actually really prefer it. I, I sort of didn't understand the point of it, and I, this frankly wasn't the point of it, but now that I see it and now that I've used it, actually, there, there is a significant real-world advantage to that. So it's just something to kind of keep track of awesome and if you do have uh, a phone with that thing uh it's also customizable so that navigation bar that has the buttons can be uh different colors it can match the accent color it can match your background color it could just be black so it kind of matches the bezel uh you have some choices there too with how you customize that that navigation bar yeah speaking as an android user we did this happened on android as well and it re that's one of the reasons i don't like samsung phones they have, still have capacitive and a physical one. yeah that's right yeah you're right they do that's true yeah um there's been some weirdness in android of course about the button placement and which buttons are there and, and they've changed android so that the menu system is built in and all that kind of stuff but um that, i think well, that's that, kind and of I think why google did it is they wanted consistency across the board and that, yeah that is really and so that's going to benefit all of us so yep. whether you're on android or windows phone now a lot of those devices will be used between the platforms and so that's kind of cool um i actually i guess now have three software picks so i'll rattle through them pretty quickly but on the windows side you know one of those kind of perpetual problems um on my laptop for example I, it's syncing uh I've, i discovered it was syncing lots of OneDrive that i didn't know it was because i've recently resuscitated my laptop there's almost no free space on it i'm confused by this i want to run some kind of an app that will show me what that space is um, we've, I've often recommended something called WinDareStat, which is, you know, a great program for what it is. But in searching for that online, and I couldn't remember the name of it, I came across something called WizTree for Windows, which I, I guess I neglected to hyperlink for some reason. Um, this is a free application that works much like uh, WinDareStat. But the advantage that this has over WinDareStat is that WizTree runs really, really quick. Um, in fact, it just takes a couple of seconds. I have, a, I, I've been, I ran it on my desktop PC. I was kind of curious. Um, how well this works, and it's really, really good. It's it doesn't have that kind of crazy graphical approach that WinDareSet has, but I actually kind of prefer the the user interface on this uh, application. And like I said, it's free. It, definitely check this one out. Antibody software, so it's antibody-software.com. Yeah. Don't get it from CNETsDownloads.com. 
which is the second result, uh, because then you'll get other things you don't want. Sure. You've, you've experienced that, haven't you? I can't believe I, these I, I, downloaders. I, I, it's just terrible. It's important that if you don't get crap or with your PC that you add it later. Yeah. So <laughs> I don't know why this is the way yeah. the world is. It's a, okay. it's a, you know, it's a crapware relocation mm. program. Yeah. <laughs> yes, it is.